Look at this crap, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Something's got to be done about Laundry Range, bro. We've had this game for what? Like eight years and they never buffed Laundry Range? Unbelievable. I, I, if there is any sign that Behavior hates killers, it's this stuff right here. Come on, Behavior. Wake up. Hi, guys. Brain here. And I wanted to crack the age-old question. Why does Dead by Daylight have so many complainers in its player base? I'm sure you've noticed that compared to other games, Dead by Daylight seems to really aggro all of the, the whiners, the complainers, the hack users, and everything is bad. Everything is unbalanced. Everything is double hacking. Like everything is bad all the time. And people just nonstop whine and complain in this game, which is wild. And I'm sure you're used to those conversations at this point. Um, I've heard a lot that Dead by Daylight has the most toxic community uh, in gaming, but that is not the case. I think definitely FPS's MOBAs definitely get worse, <laughs> far, far worse. But one thing I can say with absolute certainty over the many years I've played the game and my experience making YouTube videos about it, uh, is that they definitely are the most unhappy and they're not afraid to let you know that they do this usually by levying demands on either you in the game uh, or at the devs themselves but I wanted to like raise a question of like why is it dead by daylight players in specific why is it them that why did they complain so much compared to other games that seem to have a lower ratio of complainers to players so I think one of the things that comes to mind with this is Pandora's box. If you're not familiar with it, I'm not going to bore you with an old Greek tale here. I'll just give you the Sparks Nose version. But Pandora was the first woman in Greek mythology, and she was given this. Usually it's a jar, but it's most retellings of the story refer to it as a box given to Pandora. That's a trick from Zeus that's supposed to, you know, unleash a lot of bad stuff on humanity. Th so through either greed or curiosity, based on what version you read, um, Pandora opens this box and unleashes sickness, turmoil, Oil strife upon humanity, you know, wreaking havoc on the world. And at this point, you're probably wondering, what does this have to do at all with DVD players? Well, essentially, we can use this as a comparison to our situation with Dead by Daylight. So, in a sense, Behavior has opened Pandora's box by giving their game this perpetually buggy, unbalanced, and easy to hack state. So if something can go wrong in Dead by Daylight, it probably has <laughs> awfully balanced metas that made either side quit the game, super buggy patches that barely function or at worst actually are harmful to people's health. I'm looking at you, the uh, trickster epilepsy situation. <laughs> it can deal multiple hacker waves that come and go throughout the entire year. In a sense, this is essentially behaviors pandora's box this is their all manner of strife turmoil sickness whatever because it continues to affect the community day after day even if the current meta is fairly well balanced if the current patch is pretty healthy by all uh standards or if there's just like not a lot of hackers right now pandora's box has been open regardless like we know the elephant is in the room that this game is at the, on its back end a mess so it's easy to assume that this bad thing is happening because there is a very long track record of it happening. Even if we spot something in the game that looks odd, I think a good example of this is the Xenomorph and Nemesis's uh, strafe uh, that they can do with their attacks where they can drag the hitbox uh, they can swing and move with their hitbox and spread the hitbox uh, wide. If you're on the survivor end and you've never seen this before, it kind of does look like something is either bugged out or something, somebody is cheating because there's not really a visual to show the strafe. It just kind of like happens. Um, so a lot of people in that situation would be like, ah, oh, bug or ah, oh, they're hacking. But realistically, it's a mechanic in the game that was put in the game on purpose. But there's this kind of like this cloud hang over us at all times that, well, the game is unbalanced. The game is buggy. The game is very susceptible to hacks. So is this just another situation where that's happening? So a lot of people assume the worst. They go straight to the worst possible scenario. The TLDR of this, if I'm not making sense here, which I often don't, is that behavior has opened Pandora's box by lacking polish in their game and not making a hell chapter for an extremely long period of time. Something like this would make the game more stable and inspire a lot of confidence from players that maybe something unbalanced or buggy or hacky is not happening at the moment, but because the game is well known to be in a terrible state and behavior is well known to kind of like turn a blind eye to it over and over and over and over and over again, unless they literally have to do something about it, yeah, most people are going to turn to complaining and throwing whatever kind of like, this is a bug, this is a hack, this is whatever first, because, well, the game has 
you know, the game devs behavior has set the precedent that this is how the game works. The game is a mess and we all know it. So this is probably just another example of the mess. And the problem I think in addition to this is all this is like massively publicized and open. Like there's plenty, like DBD is a very like content creation, like heavy sphere. Like there's a lot of creators. There's a lot of streamers. There's a lot of YouTubers. There's a lot of uh, TikTokers. There's a lot of like personalities in this game. And when you're constantly running into these issues, it gets very publicized very quickly. But that also spreads to everybody else because once it becomes super well known that the game is a mess, they just assume everything is a mess and everything is prompt to be part of that mess, even if it doesn't necessarily deserve it. They just set like a really dangerous precedent because even if a perk is actually balanced, like the perk, it, like a perk is made that actually is pretty healthy for gameplay on both sides, isn't too weak, isn't too strong, uh, somebody can just subjectively not like it. And because there's just this air of, of mess <laughs> floating around in the game, um, that they can just assume, oh, well, it is unbalanced because that's clearly a thing that's happening all throughout the game. So this is clearly just another example of it. And I just got a levy for this perk that's honestly fine to be nerfed because, well, the game's a mess anyway. So why don't we just change this as well? You can't really put the genie back in the bottle. And it gives people who like to complain about everything a level of um, credibility that, that they would otherwise have in a stable game. If they were in a stable game that didn't have these issues, everybody would just look at that person and be like, uh, no, <laughs> but because it, the, the, the error is always uncertain in the Dead by Daylight sphere um, with the game itself, um, that, that just suddenly that has credibility that it would not otherwise not have. Also, I do want to make this abundantly clear is that I am not making this video to say you cannot complain. I, I, I didn't say that at any point, but there's probably somebody who's already written, written a comment down <laughs> below complaining like, hey, this guy saying I can't complain about this game. That's such a mess. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so this is the part of the video where we clown on somebody who didn't get to this part. Uh, you can put a little clown emoji under there uh, in a comment in response to them because they clearly didn't make it to this part of the video. Um, I think that it makes more sense than anything to complain about the game because there is so much mess in the game that's pretty objective to see. Like, uh, the, the game is often incredibly unbalanced. The game often does have a lot of game breaking bugs. The game often does have hacker waves that come in and out of the game. There is a lot of credibility to things in the game that may upset you, and there's plenty of things to complain about. However, I'm strictly talking about why so many complainers flock to this game, because they can kind of like hide under this general mess and go undercover and gives themselves validity that they would not have otherwise. So they're taking what a lot of time are like real issues that are real problems that behavior should probably look at and fix and expanding that to their own personal gripes in the game. And they can have that level of comfort and understanding that they don't have in a game that is stable, that people will just look at them funny for the things that they are saying. But yeah, that is it for today's commentary video, friends. Why do you think there's so many complainers in the game of Dead by Daylight? I want your take. I want you to let me know. Make your own little commentary video down in the comments below. Let me know why you think there's so many complainers. That was just my theory. That was just my theory. I think it's just like the general unstable nature of the game invites people to assume everything is bad and unstable. But let me know what you think. I will read those. I will respond. I'll do all my lovely stuff. I appreciate you guys so much for spending part of your day with me. And it really means a lot to me that you guys invest so much in just me babbling. <laughs> you guys truly make this fun. Um, if you want to stick around for more, make sure you like and subscribe because that'll get your uh, more of my videos onto your, your front page, your timeline, all that wonderful stuff. But other than that, that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. But if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.